You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Welcome back to the Lucky Mini Kitchen. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to make stuffed artichokes with a lemon butter dipping sauce. So let's head on over to the prep area and get started. I almost forgot I want to get a little bit of water in my pan so I can get it started on the stove. You know, I want to steam them first just a little bit and then this way I can uh, stuff them easier. So that should be good. Let me head back over there to the prep area now that that's all set. Need to get that stove top going, so let me get that started here. And then we'll definitely head over to the prep area now. All right, so it's time to prep my artichokes. Everybody has a different way of doing this. I like to cut the ends off and then cut the stems so that they will sit flat in the little pot that I'm gonna cook them in. So let me do that. Now I steam them so that they open up a little bit more before I stuff them, and then I'll put them in the oven. Okay, there you go. And then I need to cut some of those leaves off the end, so I like to trim just the pointy stem part. is close to boiling so and you'll see after they cook a little bit they will open up a little bit more which is what I want all right let's get them on the stove all right so we'll get them in here for say a good five, six minutes, and it kind of will soften them up a little bit so that I can stuff them. Let's make the stuffing now. All right, just do a little bit of cleanup here, and if you have a compost, this will probably work great in that. Now my mom, who watches my videos, suggested I put one of these little pads down so that when my cutting board, and I'm cutting, doesn't move. So that's a good little piece of advice. Let me move some things out of the way. And then let's get started with the stuffing. So I will put this here. I'm gonna need some breadcrumbs. Ooh, let's take a look at these and see how they look. Okay, they're starting to steam. Look, look at the water, it's actually turning green. All right, so breadcrumbs, here we go. Now these are seasoned, so you don't have to put a lot of seasoning in them, but I want to add a little cheese. We'll chop up a little fresh parsley. Let's mix this up a little bit.
a little salt and pepper. I want to add just a little oil to bind this all together, almost so you can pack it. Alright, I'll keep mixing this. We'll check the artichokes now, see if they're ready. It's been maybe five minutes. And we will check back. The artichokes are ready, so let me get them out. They look good. Let me get this one to stand up. Alright, so those should open up a little bit easier. Let's stuff them. All right, so now I'm gonna stuff them and I'll stuff them right in the pan that I'm gonna do the baking and so if things crumble off to the side or fall on the side, they will be part of the process. So here we go. So I wanna open them up. Just pack it all the way around. All right, let's get these in the oven. All right, let's get them in. I would say a good 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll set my timer and then we can uh, start the sauce. All right, my artichokes are baking really good. My stove top is on, I am ready to go. Now this is something that I do. I don't think I've really ever seen anybody else do this, but for dipping, I like to take a little butter. And then some fresh squeezed lemon. I like a lot of lemon. Just catching all the seeds.
might say a little more of my fresh parsley in there. Right. Okay, the sauce is ready. My artichokes are ready. So let's head over to the tasting table and try them out. Here we go, dinner is set. How does that look? Tasty? All right, so how do I eat my artichokes? Well, you have the breading, which is tasty and crispy. So you're gonna take a leaf off. Okay, and you got the breadcrumb in it, see that? And you dip it in your sauce. And you've got the lemon and you have the butter. And you just drag it along your teeth. Mmm. And it's really good. Let me have a few more here while I'm here. It's always good too to have a little extra bowl for your leaves. I do want to get into the artichoke heart, so I'm going to stop here, bring out my cutting board, and then we're going to dig deeper into that artichoke. All right, I think I do want a little ice water. Now I have the cheese out because you can Grate that right on top if you want. You could add more parsley. So let me get my cutting board out here because I want to take this apart and get all the way in. So we're going to make a little mess here. Now you do have to be careful of artichoke hearts with the leaves. Look at how nice that looks, huh? So the artichoke heart is way down here. It's this furry bottom section that you need to be care careful of. So you could take this now. Okay. Cut that off. And of course this is all still good for eating. You could even just open it up like this, put some cheese on it. Like this. And then just start eating that. Have a community artichoke heart. I mean artichoke. Here is the artichoke heart. Hold on a second. So this is actually pretty tender if you look at it. And tasty. Let me dip that in. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. My artichoke hearts with my special dipping sauce. Mmm, tasty. And it's tender. And until I see you next time, happy eating. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.